Hello everybody and welcome to Essex County Express. This is the fourth episode of the uh, Dunwich Gauntlet. As the train to Dunwich comes to a jarring stop, you look out the window behind you and see an immense tear in the sky like a rip in a piece of cloth. Several of the rearmost train, rear train cars are pulled backwards and there's a dreadful metallic crunch as they are detached. The train cars topple upwards and into the rift in the sky. Nearby passengers are panicking, others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man, the fucking softy that he is, has fainted in fear. The train has stopped on a bridge high above the Mizzitana River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. If an investigator enters the engine car, we immediately advance. All right. R1 is the two fist icons or take two damage. And four shroud, two clues. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. Hey, we got some guns. That's great. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Oh, that's actually a huge draw. That's actually potentially a really good draw. I think over here, I'm going to keep the Eureka and the Lantern, and I think I'm going to get rid of this other stuff. Well, fuck me. <laughs> this seems like a really good opening hand. Okay. Um. I suppose I'm going to draw three cards. What the fuck? I'm going to play two magnifying glasses. And uh, I think I'm going to investigate. And I'm going to go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 4. Yeah, I'll take two clues. I'm going to spend 1, 2, 3 to play a Pathfinder. Um, I'm going to shortcut Zoe into this location. Get your ass in there, Zoe. Uh, two brain icons. All right, well, we're taking two horror. Uh, and then I'm going to pathfind myself into that location, and we'll take two horror. And then I'll investigate at six to two. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Rex. All right, um, I think I'm going to gain a resource and play these cards. And we'll go upkeep. Holy shit. I mean, we have to get a bunch of resources back, but still. Yeah, what if I told you, chat? I mean, it's not the same because it's an additional resource and an action, but it's basically just actually Survivor's Magnifying Glass. Oh. It's actually kind of sick. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Did I shuffle this? Oh, this wasn't shuffled. Okay, I'm going to do a, a reshuffle because those were not shuffled. That was just like how it was supposed to be. Yes, or events. I guess I'm going to say event. Sucks to suck, but Rex doesn't want to discard his assets or his skills. So Zoe, unfortunately, has to die. All right. Uh, well, let's investigate at 6 to 2. Let's investigate at 6 to 2. Nice. I'll investigate at six to two. Uh, 
uh, and then we'll just pathfind on. Yes, I agree. I agree that the Corset cards are kind of just like a boon. I think we're going to level out once we get to... Um, once we get to the Investigator starter decks are going to certainly help, but we are going to miss... Uh, a wild icon. Alright, we took a damage and a horror. Do I have a wild icon? I don't have fucking anything. Alright, well, I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna draw a card. Oh. Ooh. Okay, do we take the damage and the horror, or do we take the cross? I think we just take the damage and the horror. This is a race, and we're gonna try to win it. It's going to be close, and, like, I have died to these before, so. Upkeep. Upkeep. All right, two of four. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's commit a Eureka to this. Uh, I think I'm going to give you two Eurekas. So we're going to go six to three. Nice. All right, well, we got to do this twice. Huge. Beat Cop is huge. Oh, only one commit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I just completely forgot about that for some reason. You know, sometimes when a rule just completely misses your brain, especially because you're, you're one person... Alright, well, we'll just grab the B-Cup. We still passed with it. Shuffle and shuffle and monster guys into your deck. Okay, bye. Three, okay. <clears throat> well... Let's bring out a lantern, and then let's investigate at five to one. Five to zero, sorry. Nice, we'll grab two clues. And then let's keep it going. <laughs> Search the deck for grappling horror and draw it. I'll take that, by the way. And let this be, um, let this be a reminder for anyone who says Rex isn't as good as he used to be. The thing is that Rex can do what everyone else, what every other Seeker tries to do, which is just get a deduction every turn with just a magnifying glass. It's fucking nuts, man. Hello? Uh, we have an action left. I'll try to evade you at three to two. Okay, sure. All right, well, Zoe's going to move in here. Uh, and then we're going to just whack this guy with a fucking blackjack. So we're going to go six to three. Nice. Uh, this is still minus one, so he's going to take two damage. And then we'll just go six to three again. Nice, he's dead. And Zoe's just been enjoying the ride, to be honest. Upkeep. Hey, let's go! Honestly, I love seeing a fucking Ancient Evils here. The rearmost car of the train detaches as we're, we're so far ahead in tempo that an Ancient Evils is like, it's nothing. I want to say something about Rex, but not sure if you will yell at me. I mean, yeah, I'll probably yell at you because you're probably wrong. But say it anyway. We're in the level location from the game. Each investigator at the location defeated. Each enemy, and each asset and enemy at the location discarded. Discard all clues controlled by investigators. Bye. All right. Hmm. Um, I think it's going to be event again. Sorry. Sorry. 
I mean, I feel like with this one, it kind of just becomes that one that it's always been. All right. Well, let's pathfind into this location. All right. Two foot icons. We're taking two damage. That hurts. Uh, and then we're going to investigate at five to zero. Nice. Grab two clues. Investigate five to zero. Sure. Let's go again. Five to zero. Yeah. Feast and famine, right? Uh, do I want to fail this? I don't think so. I mean, we're riding it so good right now. We just don't want Rex to die. Um... He's always going to gain a resource, play a B cop, and move into your location. And I will take two. We're okay with damage. Rex is getting a little bit close. It's a little bit scary for sure. We can get this Dr. Milan out. I don't know where my resource... I guess I played the Lantern last turn. Honestly, things are just going so fucking fast. <laughs> One of three. Uh, oh, we lose an action. I don't know. I, I actually don't think that's crazy at all. I think that some investigators are better at... I have to lose something, huh? Blackjack. A lantern? Uh, I mean, I think, yeah, some investigators are going to do better in other campaigns for uh, different reasons. I think that's that's not crazy at all. To your left. Well, guess who's probably not making... I mean, maybe we can. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's investigate. You get a doom. Okay. How worried are we about that doom? I mean, it's probably good to stay positive on tempo. But we don't want to split up too much. I want to save the helpless passenger, but I'm also just like, maybe he just dies. Like, he was just like in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, we're going to go five to one. That's three. We'll grab two clues. <clears throat> uh, I think we're going to go five to one. Grab a clue. Does Rex just stay here this turn? I think so. I would love to play Dr. Milan. But we're, we're just zooming, right? Like, that's kind of like what the whole point of this scenario is right now, which is just zoom. Yeah, and I, I don't think, like, I think you actually presented your opening statement wrong. This is not, um, this is not you saying something about Rex. This is actually probably, like, you saying something more about Ursula than Rex. How do we do this? Move in, shoot you. That's not crazy. Let's do it. We're going to move in here as Zoe. It cannot be investigated. Well, fuck. <laughs> Guess we're going to need to get some resources, huh? Hey, look at that. Some resources. All right, and we're going to shoot you. We have seven to your four. We'll go nine to four. You're toast. Oh, cannot be investigated, but I can still just cheese it a little bit. Nothing says I can't cheese. All 
Oh, I'm bleeding. That deduction's actually kind of huge. Two of three. Oh, yuck. That sucks. I guess it's going to be Beat Cop. Mm, that's a bit annoying for sure. Okay. So I think Rex is going to spend an action to move in here. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. I think that guy is actually just going to, like, die and we just, like, let it happen. Yeah, I think we just let him die. We're not the heroes here. We're actually the bad guys. And then I'm going to gain a resource and we're going to play a Dr. Bolan. And then we're going to test three all. Holy shit. Yeah, what's more in the same pile where those students are? Exactly, right? All right. Um, I think I kill the internal injury. No, I think first we draw into the flame. <laughs> ah, get fucked. And then we will get rid of the internal injury. Okay. This is just a normal train ride. The next train car is ripped backwards with violent force. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered towards the rift. Say hi to the students for me, fucko! In moments, the car is consumed whole and the man lets go rather than be pulled in the void. He starts to fall but is caught by the rift's force and is pulled inside anyway. Remove the leftmost location from the game. Sorry, this location that I got rid of. Good, no victory. Do any of these have victory? This one does. Let's go! I'm so excited to earn my one XP for this scenario. Let's go, let two going. It's had its ups and it's down so far, but right now, things are looking up. The pull of the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger and the entire track begins to roll backwards along the tracks. Um, oh, the, uh, the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. The rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle the force of the, th of the rift threatening. Uh, to detach them, you must get out of these cards as fast as you can. Alright, evil cards. No. <laughs> ah, shit, that's annoying. We just have to discard an asset we control. Alright, well, we're gonna lose the magnifying glass, I think. I should have picked that up into my hand, potentially. Ancient Evils, sure. <sighs> okay. I think we want Zoe to go in first, because I'd rather her take the test than Rex. Alright. What's this one, by the way? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be easy as shit to clear. We, we actually might even get lucky and be able to do it this turn. The investigator entering the engine car reads the following out loud. <clears throat> A tender car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your fear, you climb out of the nearby window and clamber onto the roof of the train, making your way across the tender car. The steady backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing. As you get close, a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. Well, I'm going to do the fist one. So we're going to go seven to three. Look at that forehead. I saved it for the one damage, and now it's going to stop me from getting one physical trauma? Maybe. It did. Okay. Um, and now we get three cards. Rotting remains. Uh, this can kill me. But joke's on you that I only need to draw zero more encounter cards. Four to three. Let's go. Second card. Well, I'll just get rid of everything I fucking own, okay? 
If you don't want me to have anything, I'll have nothing. Any empty location? Put that motherfucker over here. I don't care. I think we're going to advance this turn. Uh, you managed to make it into the car. You can, but you now have to get the engine started again so you can outrun the pulling force of the gate. If there are no clues on the engine car, immediately advance. All right. Let's pathfind into this location. Uh, let's investigate. I have five to one. I can go six, seven to one. Minus one. If you fail, it is your turn. Uh, so we're going to grab one clue for our from the investigate, one clue from our ability, one clue from the deduction. And then we're going to look at the top three for this Eureka. Give me that other deduction. Uh, and then I'll investigate, and we're just going to go seven to one. It's over. Time? How are my splits on that one, chat? The engine roars to life and kicks into motion. You shovel coal into the engine's firebox and relief to see that the train is moving forward along the tracks once again. Resolution 1. Crafted the parlor glitch. Didn't I do the parlor glitch this glitch this time because I didn't investigate it? I didn't spend the resources on it. But I didn't do the uh, the hop skip. You know, I didn't do that. I didn't do the hop skip. No, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, what are we fucking doing? Time to stop joking and play Arkham. All right, we get victory X two. How do you see the future of Arkham content creation? Are the numbers still looking up or are they stagnant? This year is actually, our, uh, so far, our numbers this year have been better than last year. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all for the next one when we do Blood on the Altar. See you all then. But in the meantime, have a good one. And as always, a GG's.